You know, there's been a growing trend to combine two separate fun activities into one ultimate date night. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like wine and paint night. Oh, those yes. are fun. Oh, yeah, I've heard so much about those. And beer and axe throwing. Mm, oh, yeah. Maybe not smart. You see that, that around. <laughs> meth and mini golf night. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow. That is a <laughs> fast game of meth. <laughs> fun for the whole family. Fast that game is. of golf, I yeah. mean. Yeah. Well, not meth. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what type of games they play over at the Fox household. But one of our listeners decided to invent her own unique date night combo oh. based entirely on their astrological signs. Oh. And well, the reaction that we got yeah. was mixed. Uh-huh. Okay. Because she put together two of the most unrelated activities you could possibly think of. Uh-huh. Oh, cracked out cooking show. <laughs> no. Weirder than that. Oh my gosh. Maybe, I don't think there's drugs involved. No, no drugs, but her yeah. creativity okay. may have gone too far. Uh-oh. You'll find out what they did in your brand new second date update next. <laughs> You know, for certain women, astrological signs play a huge part in possible matchmaking with a guy online. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, everybody knows Libras are the most powerful lovers. What? Are they? I don't Is that know. what you are, Jeff? Oh, You're a Libra. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> Nobody ever I'm said that. I'm a Libra. What a coincidence. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. And you're so powerful. So is my dad, and that grosses me out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure makes a lot of sense. Oh, stop I it. I just read that from like 16 so different gross. experts. They all agree and uh-huh. slid into my DMs at the same time. All right. But I bring it up because one of our listeners puts a lot of emphasis on astrological signs, and she says she's worried it might factor into the situation with her new guy. Okay. So her name is Emily. Emily, welcome to the show. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me. I feel me. like we need to know your sign as soon as we know your name. Exactly, because that's how it goes. I'm a proud Gemini. Ooh, me Gemini. too. Oh, What's no. up? Oh, so toxic. Yeah, there's four of us. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a you lot don't know what energy. you're going to get. <laughs> I love being a, a Gemini. So uh, <laughs> we saw your email and we were interested because you said you're worried that your astrological sign may be playing against you. Why do you say that? Right. So I was reading the survey and I was asking people who are the most dateable signs and who are the least dateable signs. Okay. okay. And we're the least dateable, it says. What? Gemini's you are, are the least yeah, dateable? What are you talking about? <laughs> Aren't they known for being kind yeah. of crazy? Yeah, yeah that's not. it. We're a good time. We're mm-hmm. deep. We connect on a lot of different levels. Yeah, not hard-headed we're at all. We're entertaining. Mm-hmm. We're easy to get along with. Thank I don't know you. what their problem is. I mean, yeah. keep going about yourself. Yeah, keep yeah. Ramming yeah. ram it down our throats until we say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, Jeff. I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm so, not. So <laughs> th- that makes you feel insecure or something? Well, it makes me feel insecure because it was also talking about the most dateable signs. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. What's that? It happened to be Pisces, which is Darren, my crush's sign. Oh. oh. So that's like a sign from yeah. But isn't that good? Don't yeah, you want to be with someone who's dateable? Like, yeah. I mean, if you're really putting a lot of emphasis into this stuff. Well, Pisces have great attributions. They're romantic. They're mystical. They have a great imagination. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to back you up right there. I married a Pisces, and the romance is not. <laughs> you wish. Oh, my God. So you're a Gemini Pisces yes. right now? Yes. And oh, I will okay. tell you, he balance. takes on everyone's emotions. He's very sensitive, very oh, loving, very kind. He sounds amazing, bro. He is. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Did you hear that, Emily? Proof that this relationship is totally going to work for you. Yeah. And you're going to end up in a very happy spot in 10 to 12 years. Brooke's yeah. marriage is like the healthiest one I know. I oh, thanks, Jose. Sure hope so. So, you know, me and Darren met in a dating app, and he is very attractive. So hey, one hey, thing hey. that I really love about him is he has broad shoulders. Huh. And oh. I guess you don't want a narrow-shouldered so man. I never thought of yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> they're so broad. I just want to jump up on them on okay. a, at a music festival. That's what I imagine oh. myself doing. Okay. okay. Well, that's great. So but... did you go on a date to a music festival to fulfill your fantasy? <laughs> well, so here's what we did. So after I read the survey, I was like, okay, I'm going to do some research online. And <laughs> it was like, best dates for Pisces. And Gemini. Oh my Isn't God. that cool? Wow. You can Google almost anything nowadays. And so there's a list. And you can keep re-googling until you get the answer you want. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it is exactly. just all of it. Yeah. Sure. So what? What did you find would be the perfect date for a Gemini Pisces combo? 
So since Pisces are super mystical, they maybe would like a tarot card reading. Oh, God. Tarot reading? Brooke, you should set one of those up for Michael. He would love it. would he love a tarot card reading? Uh, The only reading he'd love is a sports card reading. (laughs) Like, if it was like... It can have a sports theme to it. Yes. Opening packs of basketball cards. Opening packs of NBA cards. (laughs) Okay. No, he would hate that. Does that match with the Gemini's perfect first date? Well, here's the thing. Mine would be like singing. I love karaoke. Okay. Oh. Yeah, ooh la la la. So I was thinking, wow, how do I bring <laughs> Zoltar and my singing skills together? Wait, is his name Zoltar? Is that what you just said? You know Zoltar, the fortune teller? Yeah. Oh. Uh, like a little machine, right? Yeah. yeah. The machine. Okay. Yeah. What's so, his you name? know. What's his name? Yeah, what's, what's your date's name? His name is Darren. Okay, let's Darren. stick with Darren. <laughs> I thought Darren. it was Zoltar. Zoltar. <laughs> Darren is a cutie patootie. So, Aww. you know those karaoke bars where they have the room? Yeah. And you, like, rent Jeff. it, and you sing in there. Mm. Yeah, wait. Never heard of it, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> rents those all the time. Yeah, those are my favorite. Okay. I, always so it- I had a genius idea of bringing them together. I don't oh. get it. Tarot card readings and karaoke? Ooh, is a tarot card yeah. reading going to sing you your reading? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die. It's karaoke exactly. in a way. Karaoke, I love it. Yeah, so we would <laughs> sing a song, and then we would pull a card after <laughs> each between- song. Oh, oh this is so the awkward the slowest in my head. tarot card Random. reading ever. Did you tell Tell him this is what you were going to do, or was this a surprise? <laughs> yeah. kind of a it was game. a surprise. Oh, oh okay. okay. I bet he was oh, very yeah. surprised. Yeah. So here's what we learned, though. This is what came about it. The tarot card reader told us that Darren was going to get a cat. A cat? Yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> and that one of us would get a raise. And I'm like, okay, which one? Hello. Like, I want to raise. Yeah. But she kind of, like, kept it broad, so I wasn't, like, too impressed with her. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, sometime in the next 10 to 20 years, yeah. one of you <laughs> will get a pay increase. And a cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. now I'm kind of, like, questioning myself because Darren just looked like he was just there. Like, he wasn't, oh. like, too excited or. He wasn't into the karaoke experience. Exactly. He wasn't like enthusiastic. So, yeah. I, you know, here comes my troubling mind making up all these assumptions. Well, I mean, those are two activities that a lot of people have super strong feelings against. <laughs> yeah. You know, I can't say performing in front of tarot card readers. Sounds yeah. fun. Well, you know, if, he, private room. if he doesn't like your idea, then he's not worth it anyway. But we should call him and ask. Yeah. yeah. And he's a Pisces. Yeah. He'll feel bad for you no matter what. Exactly. Maybe so. pity date. <laughs> they really take on other people's emotions a lot, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. Well, so we're going to come back and we're going to call Darren for you, not Voltar this time. Mm. Zoltar. Get Zoltar. It right. get whatever it is. Right. Darren, we're going to call him <laughs> and try and get you your second date update right after this, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Hold on. <laughs> We just learned about a brand new date idea called Terryoki. A combo of tarot card reading and karaoke, <laughs> uh-huh. which is going to be the latest craze on TikTok. Am I right, Alexis? Uh, sure. That's the spirit. Uh-huh. It just dawned on me how terrible it would have been for the tarot card reader. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To listen to yeah, two sure. people. Kind of sure. third yeah. wheel in it on there. Yeah. But our listener Emily uh, set it up based on a survey she found online about the perfect dates for a Pisces and for a Gemini. Mm-hmm. And she decided to mash them together into one super date. Yeah. Because yeah. she's a Gemini. Her date Darren is a Pisces. I have no idea why he wouldn't call you back after this, Emily. Especially since it was a surprise. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sprung on him. It sounds wow. like the date of the century. And even Brooke is fuming <laughs> yeah. mad, jealous, because she didn't think of it first. Oh, my God. I know. Listen I, to that I smile, will, how mad she is. I will say, the first day I planned for my husband and I, who's a Pisces, we did uh, brewery and go-kart racing. Wait so, a minute. Yeah, that drinking and like driving. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I think I, I went extra on yeah. this one. Maybe oh. I did too much. I don't well, know. Well, state sounds extra, and they're happily married. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a good sign If he for doesn't you. appreciate you for the effort that you put in, then he doesn't deserve yeah. you. Exactly. I'm really disappointed that the tarot card reader didn't have your back and tell him that he was obviously destined to be with you. Well, you know, I think she was probably just about her money because she just left after four songs. That's why I wasn't oh. impressed with her. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe she, like, predicted the date was going to end poorly, so yeah. she didn't want to <laughs> foresee that. Oh, anyway, let's... I predict I gotta go. I'm predicting that this is going to go really, really well, though. All so right. let's call Ooh, okay. Darren and see what he has to say. Okay, yay. All right. Now, you be quiet now. Here we go. <laughs> what 
That sounds rude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, yeah, don't interrupt me. It I break my concentration. I have to really focus when How I dial. About this? Hey, just please hold. We'll be right yeah, Shut you. your mouth. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, we're looking to speak with Darren. Uh, yeah, this is him. Hey, Darren. Sorry to interrupt whatever you're doing right now, but uh, hopefully you could take a break to be on the radio for a second with a show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Yeah. Hey, Darren. <laughs> um. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's music, we know. Oh, I can tell how impressed you are. That's right. But uh, we're doing a segment called the Second Date Update because we're trying to help one of our listeners get in touch with you again after you guys went on a little romantic first date at a karaoke bar the other night. I think there was anything little uh, about it. Big romantic yes. date yeah, there with, it is. with a girl named Emily. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, what about it? Okay. That's what we want to know. Yeah. What did you think about it? Yeah. Um, I have to know what you thought when you first got there and realized what you guys were going to yeah. be doing. What a unique experience, bro. Karaoke and tarot cards? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was definitely a first for me. Okay. I think it'd be a first for anybody in this room, yeah. honestly. Yeah. We've never heard of it before. <laughs> was it fun? Um, like, what? Did, uh, she obviously told you stuff. Like, I don't know what she told you. Well, she just said that she planned this unique first date idea, brought the tarot card reader to the karaoke bar yeah. so that she could do readings in between songs. <laughs> and we heard that you could be getting a cat soon. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. one of the predictions. Okay, so here's the thing about all of that stuff. So I'm not really into that sort of stuff, like the tarot card reading and the astrological signs and okay. stuff like that. That's but okay. Like, I sort of went into it with like a kind of an open mind, just the see what happened but honestly it kind of freaked me out a little bit why huh oh, freak freak you out. You out. so you mentioned the cat earlier right yeah right so i didn't mention this at the time but my neighbor is moving uh -huh. and they have a cat and i agreed <gasps> to adopt their cat no way what? and you didn't tell anyone did she know and did you bring no. it to emily no, I didn't say anything at the time. Oh, wow. wow. That's pretty Why crazy. wouldn't you tell her? You know, I don't want to mess around with this astrological crap. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, don't mess with the universe. Or the bad voodoo juju I'm going to bring in. You're right. <laughs> okay, wait, no, 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 no. Come on. One, it can be just a coincidence. And two, How? even if it's not, these people are really good at like reading signs of things that are happening in your life. Oh, yeah. mm. You probably had some like cat hair exactly. on your sweater. <laughs> wait, hold on. There's more. So... Oh. One of the tarot readings, I don't know if she told you about this, was that somebody was going to get a raise. Yeah. yeah. Two days after that, I get called into my boss's office, no way, and dog. he tells me I get a promotion and a raise. What? what? Freaking way. Wait, but are these are all freaking out. These are all good things. Yeah. yeah it's awesome. It's freaky, and honestly, it's like, <laughs> I'm not that kind of person that I want to know what my future is or anything like that. I kind of like to go with the flow so and it, just see how life kind of happens. That's crazy. So wait, 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 though. It wasn't her giving you the tarot card readings. Yeah. Like, but, she doesn't predict the future. Yeah, but he's into it, though. Yeah. And she okay. seems like she's kind of that person that wants to know what's going on. I'm not. And, yeah. like, honestly, I've been kind of struggling with, I don't know how to bring this up to her. Oh, I see. So it's well, not that's, that's, huh. its not necessarily an issue of, like, Gemini versus Pisces and incompatibility don't mix. It's just she's into the astrological stuff, and you don't want anything to do with that. And you're that. scared of it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, okay. I'm, yeah. like I mean, how is he ever going to bring this up to her? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. really yeah. sorry to freak you huh. out even more than you that already are. But I have a prediction that Emily is listening to this phone <laughs> conversation and wants to jump in <laughs> in three, two. I'm not a professional tarot yeah. reader, so. Yeah. Emily's there. That's Emily. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> so, wait, is that the reason why you're not calling me back? I just didn't know how to tell you it, and I didn't want to disappoint you because you, like, went through so much effort to bring, like, this tarot card reader in and uh, the karaoke night, and, like, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Right, so not oh. calling her back is... Well, I, I just don't understand how you didn't and don't want to know the future. And then look, the tarot card reader, she predicted everything. Good thing. I know. And like, honestly, I'm a little bit kind of freaked out about the whole thing. Wow. 
Wow. And, and like, I don't know, I like to go with the flow with life. I think that's part of the beauty of life is just things happen and you react to them and it's unexpected. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You don't want to know, like, the next time that you're going to miss a rent payment? What? What? <laughs> that's miss not a, a rent payment? That sounds so stressful. How, don't you have control over that? Sometimes? How do you not I know mean, that? I, that's I mean, I just got a promotion, so I'm not worried about, hey. like, I'm doing all right with rent. <laughs> Thanks to her. Emily, why did you bring up rent payments? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I like to know stuff, and that's okay that you don't like to know stuff, but, you know, this could help build our future. Be ahead of the game. Oh, your future together. I've, I've heard that's how you play the stock market. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if the next tarot card reader tells us that you're about to get another cat? Like, I would want to know that. Wouldn't uh, you want to know that? Wow. Maybe. How, have a lot of cats. how many cats is he going to have? Yeah. How often is this card pulled? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe he would just know when the cat arrived. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> and they're cats. They're pretty much kind of self-reliant you know what i mean okay. it's not really that big of a deal i understand darren doesn't really want to know anything about the future emily wants to know everything that's going to happen in the next 40 years there must be somewhere in the middle where you two can meet and we could send you on a date that we would pay for Whoa. that way you guys could talk about it work this out and nobody would miss any rent payments that way yeah it feels like it's worth a shot yeah. I don't know, Emily. What does your tarot card say that I'm going to say? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. goodness gracious. It says that you're the perfect guy for me. Oh. oh. She didn't oh. even answer the question. Yeah, it's I a like totally that. different <laughs> card, but it still works. That's exactly how it works. So, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. Butter him up. so it's a definite yes from Emily. We know yeah, that. But, Darren, come on, the answer Mr. comes perfect. down to you. Do you want to see her one more time? You know what? Honestly, this whole thing just really isn't for me. I'm sorry. You seem like a nice person, and I wish you the best. Aww. Are you serious? I mean, yeah, I'm I'm serious. Tell him how many cats he's going to get as punishment. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, this is awful. I did not see this in the cards. Oh, oh wow. How could you Can you know please like, give me one more chance and I'll never bring up the tarot cards again? Oh, a what? Oh, you're chance really, card. You're going to give how, up on it totally now. How quickly she moved away. Yeah. From God, those darn Geminis. They're so finicky. <laughs> Darren, she's asked twice now. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. That's too no. That's too <laughs> bad. Oh All my right. goodness. Hey, better luck next time, okay, Emily? <laughs> I'm heartbroken. Yeah. I oh, also feel like fine. you're going to be delivering feral cats to his address. <laughs> <laughs>